Congratulations for being my viewers for my first YouTube video. Today I'll be talking about sexual selection. And I find this topic very interesting. And I'm gonna take a different approach to it rather than taking the textbook approach. Before we start, we need to talk about natural selection. Very important. Well, what is natural selection? Um, um, take a look at this first picture. Could you identify the organism? It's a leaf-tailed gecko. How about the third picture? That's right, it's an owl. What would happen if a red-tailed gecko was on it? Whoops. Actually, let's go yellow. <laughs> oh, if there, if the yellow tail, yellow leaf tail gecko was on there, it'd be more appealing to the predators. It would probably get eaten. Rah! Yeah! Yummy! Um, it would have lower fitness, and this is when natural selection comes in. See, this this predator didn't go for a leaf colored one; it went for the yellow one. Uh, um, the ones that have the traits, um, the brown color ones, would survive and accumulate by reproduction. And you can see um, these ones also match their environment. There's, there are more things about natural selections, but I don't want to get too deep about them in this video. And remember, population evolve, individuals do not evolve. Oh, this picture. See, this one, this girl, um, is, not, is less fat, so it can run faster, presumably. And yeah, you will eat it. <laughs> Alright. Now it's time for sexual selection. Sexual selection is a form of natural selection in which the organism with certain inherited characteristics are more likely to mate. It's more likely to have sex. <clears throat> it's basically how I'm having sexy traits. Um, if you look at the pictures, the eyes are very attractive. I like the nose. I like the mouth, and I like the I like the circles. I like the circles. <laughs> oh yeah, these are also circles too. Yeah, these are circles. These are circles, these are circles. This is a circle, and this is also a circle. Uh, I guess humans are attracted to circles. And sexual selection leads to sexual dimorphism. Sexual dimorphism is the differences between male and female characteristics that they're attracted to. It does not have to do with fitness. Um, you see, I'm very attracted to Emma Watson because of the circles again. See um the face is like very well developed and her eyes are very pretty. Um the lips too. Oh and the circles again. Yeah always the circles. Circles all the way all the time. <clears throat> so, do you know how many fans are? Do you know how many people are fans of Emma Watson? According to Facebook, there's 32 million people. That's right. I have to compete for her against millions. You see, natural select, inter, inter, intra selection, you know, inter, intra select, sexual selection, intersexual selection is um same sex competing for opposite sex now i have a good way to remember this it's my sweet tip you want to hear it you want to jot this down too it's because it's honey it's honey right here 
What does intraselection sexual sound like? Intra intraselectual <coughs> intra in in trouble in trouble in trouble. Oh yeah, you get in trouble. How? You fight. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. You get in trouble by you get in trouble by fighting and competing for opposite sex. Intrasexual selection. Ooh. Ooh, so cool. Now, there's another thing. We had intersexual selection, now there's intersexual selection. What is that? That's just being picky and choosing mates. Now, if I had choice between these two, you probably know the answer. <laughs> um, now, another good way to remember this is by looking at the words again. Um, when I study, uh, this helps me a lot during my studies. It's very helpful. Now, intersexual selection, what does that sound like? It sounds like, um, into selection or entering selection. You see, now it's not very hard. It's not very confusing. It's actually pretty easy now. Intraselection, getting in trouble, interselection, entering selection, entering selection, you're entering to choose your mate. <coughs> Now let's summarize. Let's review. Sexual selection is for is a form of natural selection with certain traits, um, and your rate of having sex goes up. Se and then sexual selection leads to sexual dimorphism, is traits that our organisms are attracted to. Um, always remember the circles of humans are attracted to the circles, and they don't really have to do with fitness. Um, interest sexual selection. Or I call it in trouble, in trouble sexual selection. In, um, you're fighting for your mate. <coughs> Intersexual selection. Uh, I call it entering selection. You're um, you're being picky, and that's it. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The reason that I made this video was to share the info that I have and sharing tips and making learning fun. And I hope. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.